All right, the first full day of play in the Big 12. A lot of conference games on tap. We'll get to some of those scores after we get back down to field level. And what a special day it was for the Lassiter family. The whole family got to enjoy what was happening today. Only one team gets to enjoy the result, but still a special afternoon uh, for Darius Lassiter and his family. And uh, Darius pops on the headset at field level. Greg Rubel, Hans Olsen upstairs, Darius down on the field. Darius, thanks for taking a minute. We appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, you know, I, I guess the, the phrase is mixed emotions and bittersweet. All that things kind of come to the table in a moment like this because you lose the football game, but you played so well individually and, and made it a special moment for your family and for you personally. Can you encapsulate the emotions you just went through in the last three hours plus? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it's more more so me getting the win than me getting the individual stats uh, at the end of the day. Um, I'm glad that I, I had a good game on paper, but uh, it's never the game that I wanted to have. Uh, I had a lot of missed assignments and then also having the fumble earlier too. Um, but I just knew that I had to bounce back because it takes all 11 to win a football game uh, each side of the ball. Um, then just to be out here with family and going to versus my brother, uh, it's just it's just great. Great atmosphere out here in Kansas. Um, they showed up, uh, and at the end, they came victorious. Darius today, eight catches, which is a game high. No player had more than eight catches on either team today. Targeted 11 times, made eight grabs for 84 and the score. I saw your, I guess, your mom's shirt before the game. She had both the eight and the five going on, all kinds of colors patched out. That was pretty cool to see. Yeah, uh, that was my first time actually seeing it. Uh, I <laughs> thought she was just going to do a split shirt, but once we got, once I got off the bus, I seen her with the uh, jersey. I got to give me one of those. <laughs> so I want to go back to your first reception. I saw you off the left sideline back here, and I saw you kind of get into it with your brother and kind of give him a little extra shove. Take us a little further into matching up with your brother on a Division One college football field. Yeah, uh, it's kind of something that we always dreamed of. Uh, we've kind of been on the same teams all the way uh, through childhood, all the way through high school, and uh, in JUCO as well and things like that. So uh, to actually go out there and then see him out there and then be able to go compete at a high level versus each other, it was great. Um, I was actually trying to run him over. Hmm. But, uh, <laughs> you kind of did. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say that. I gotta say that when we played them back in the Big Twelve Championship, Quinton. Quinton wears your father's number eight, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, was Kwame Junior. by the way here at the game? Uh, no, he wasn't. He has a game. I know. Uh, I, I wondered about that. If he could, if they're even allowed. I, I guess it's just not possible when you're playing on a Sunday, right? So, yeah, no, it's not. But earlier, earlier, uh, he was able to be uh, on the sideline for one, for I think one of Quinton's games earlier. Yeah, it was uh, the first week uh, when they played Missouri State, and then he flew out to my game after that. And we played played Sam Houston. Wow. Uh, so sorry. I want to ask you, Darius. So much tie between KU and the Lassiter family. Was KU ever in the mix for you, or vice versa? Uh, they had the opportunity to get me when I uh, entered the transfer portal, but uh, at the time they wanted me to walk on, and that's something I didn't plan on doing. So uh, things happen for the best. I'm glad that I'm here. I'm happy with the position that I'm in, and so. I really haven't really thought about going to KU at that into the transfer portal. Yeah, well, BYU fans and we and, and the team certainly glad to have you for sure. I was just curious about that. Hans? Hey, Darius, I'm curious on the second half adjustments by Kansas in their corners. How much different did they play you coming out of the half than they played you in the first half, specifically on the outside press? Um, I don't I don't think they really played too much different. They, they game plan stayed the same. Um, I still was getting single coverage and things like that, and we still were getting zoned. So uh, I don't think they really had to adjust too much. Um, I, th- I guess they thought they, uh, they already had to figure out and they just needed to step up more. So that's, that's that. Good fight from BYU to hang in this football game. But, uh, you know, Kansas did what they needed to do with a six-and-a-half-minute drive in the fourth quarter. Mm. But it uh, felt like you guys were hanging into the end there. There's good fight in this team, isn't there? Yeah, it is. Well, we always going to believe no matter what. Uh, There's a lot of people that, that thought we were going to lose by 14 or whatever it is. But uh, we know what we have in the locker room. Uh, we're going to regroup, uh, we're going to watch the film, and then we're going to get ready for Cincinnati. Hey, Darius, last thing for me. I'm curious, when a guy like Parker Kingston goes out in that first offensive drive mm-hmm. and, and, he, and he's gone, how much of a game plan goes with him? How much of the game plan kind of sits on some of the things he does? He had that throwback against Arkansas, and he's just a specialty player. How much goes out the window when he leaves the game? Yeah, uh, Parker is in a lot of the game plan this week. Uh, so just for us to lose him, it, it kind of hurt. I um, uh, hope he will be okay and ready for next week. And then, But other than that, we have guys that can step up in his position, uh, in, anybody in the room. So 
when we lose one, we we got to have people step up and make plays. Did you get to uh, spend a few seconds with your uh, brother on the field after the game? Yeah, I did. Uh, we actually met in, on the Jayhawk, and then uh, we kind of went down there to my mom as well. Well, again, I know you said first and foremost you're all about getting the win, and that didn't happen today, but I hope it still remains a special day in your heart as you continue. Uh, I, I thought it was great for you to get in the end zone and, and have your mom be able to enjoy it with you. And, uh, again, brighter days ahead for BYU, but congrats on on, uh, on the day and, and glad to have you as part of the Cougar family. Yes, sir. Thank you.